But um, yeah, I'm going to piggyback Tommy T's question here um, and, you know, bring up a semi question of my own because a lot of people, I, I've been finding a lot of the conversation uh, in, the, in the past or like from 2020 to 2021 is, you know, how there's a lot of expectations in general, right? People are like, for example, I think it was, uh, I think it was Diddy who tweeted that, you know, if last year didn't bring the hustler out of you, then you don't have it. And that incited a lot of conversation like, well, you know, some people were just focused on surviving last year, not necessarily hustling. Right. So it goes it boils down to, you know, what's your goal, what's your expectations, etc. So, Armin, I would ask you uh, for people who are working towards goals for this year, what's something that they can hold on to um, that is definite despite all the, the uh, in uncertainty, let's say, of the virus? External uncertainty does not determine internal uncertainty. So the answer would be certain, like, to would be like to become when certain you jump inside, out of plane, external. What when you jump out of plane? How certain are you about how things are going to go? Not Zero, right? Right? Zero. Yeah. I don't know if a pigeon is going to come fly into my face. <laughs> Can you open? I don't know if my parachute is going to open. Yeah. I don't know if I get a heart attack. Mhm. Mm I don't know if it starts raining on the way down. No idea. Zero uncertainty when you jump out of a plane. Why do people do it time and time again though? Because the outside uncertainty of what things could happen does not determine the inside. Person has internal certainty that it's going to work out. Yeah. Doesn't matter what happens outside. It has nothing to do with direct correlation to how you decide to feel certain about things. Mm -hmm. I, I'll add though, you can't do that unless you have faith. Unless you believe things will happen for you in a good way. It doesn't matter what's happening outside. Yeah. You always feel be afraid. So you can't mix up the outside with the inside. I had a student ask me, you know, what if I make a lot of money and I turn into a bad person? I remember saying, so you measure the type of person you are by how much money you have. You think somehow but because there's an extra digit in your account, your personality would change overnight. Yeah. How do you correlate the two? How do you make that distinction? And of course, like everything else, inaccurate thought. Well, I see other people who have money that are like this, but, but they could also have bad upbringing, bad family, bad days. What if it has nothing to do with the money? How do you, yeah. you diagnose to make that assumption a real fact? Well, I didn't. I'm like, exactly. And this is the number one problem with people's minds is that they allow any influence to go inside, they make up conclusions about it, and that becomes their life. There's zero filter to it, zero qualifying process to it. Anyone could plant a seed in their mind and they believe it now. He saw four people who made a lot of money become assholes. Okay. What did those three, four people have to do with you? What does money have to do with that? Mm -hmm. What if they were assholes anyways? Mm -hmm. So this is the opposite true? <laughs> what if I stay poor and I'm an asshole? Because they were poor and they were an asshole. They're still an asshole. The money didn't change anything. Yeah. And he goes, well, I disagree. I go, well, it's fine, but you're not in my program to disagree. You're here to learn. I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't pay thousands of dollars to be in programs to disagree with the person who's doing it right. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know. That's how my personal I don't do that. That'd be a waste of my money. Because of me, I'm the problem. If I'm unwilling to, one is being willing to learn being willing to be like, I want to learn more things because I don't know everything. Yeah, but the other one's willing to change. So when you learn the thing and it goes against your current, current belief system, are you willing to change that? And if you're unwilling, you'll stay where you're at. Yeah. You're not coachable. You're not teachable. Mm -hmm. So I didn't say that to him, but I said it more kindly, which is, yeah, you can disagree, but like, I'm just asking you to think about what you're saying. Right? Yeah. And then also think about this. Like, if someone has what you want and they think otherwise than you, you should probably stop thinking what you're thinking and think the way they think. Like why else would you, what else is mentorship? Yeah. So I was just telling him like, you're measuring like your money by who you are mm -hmm. and the opposite. He goes, well, I, I disagree because if I was a person who would make that much money, I would have that much money now. And I give the most 
in my opinion, one of the most incredible analogies I've ever given for the perfect lesson. I say, so let me, let me, let me ask you something. You're saying that if you were the person, that you would have the money right now. So if you don't have the money, it means you're not the person. Yeah. I'm like, but what about the logical concept of time? Well, what about delay? Yeah. You're not factoring in delay in you doing something. You could already be the person, but it takes time for the thing to show up. He goes, well, like I say, I, he said, I disagree. I said, so isn't the opposite true? That means you're just not the person now then. Mm -hmm. That means that when you have the money, you'll be the person. Yeah. So let me ask you this. You plant the seed as in your garden. You come back the next day. It's not there. Are you not a farmer? When I said that, he was like, oh. I'm like, let me get this straight. So I plant crops. Eh? I have to wait a minimum of three months before yeah. I think I'm a farmer now. How stupid would that be? Yeah. Like, so your, your way of looking at yourself is mm -hmm. not right. Mm -hmm. like you having more money in your account doesn't make you something different. It should technically make nothing different. Some of you go, it amplifies you too. Why? Why would it amplify you even? Why even amplify you? Mm -hmm. I'm serious. Why does it even affect you? Get what I mean? Yeah. If I have one couch in my place where I have tons of furniture, should I change who I am now? It's just things that it's around me. Yeah. Money is no different. Now, the problem is that we me because we measure ourselves by how much money we have, that amplification pr principle works. Yeah. Because of our stupidity will make more money and because we believe that means something yeah now we go and do something more mm -hmm. or different yeah because but it's the real problem is believing that that even matters mm -hmm. not that it happened yeah my uh my team in our first time every time actually we make a lot of money we've had our we've had our four figure days we've had our five figure days i've had even six figure days and we've right? also had <laughs> Yeah, and zero days too. Zero yeah, hundred percent. We have more zero days than five thousand, twenty thousand. I've had five thousand dollar day, ten thousand, yeah. twenty thousand dollar day. Yeah. Fifty thousand dollar months, hundred thousand dollar months. But but when I say month, like I mean I, I made that hundred in a weekend. So really, the bulk of it came in twenty four hours. My point is, my team will like they'll come and ask. He'll go. He might have come up to me like, "You just made like whatever ten grand today or something. How do you feel?" I'm like, "Not no different." He goes, I don't understand, but you just, don't you feel better a little bit? I'm like, no. I already felt good. Yeah. And it's like so hard for him to conceive. In the, back in the time, I think now he gets it. But it's like he, uh, he expects my, my external reality to fluctuate my inside. So I have, I have to give credit to Sadhguru for this because I watched him a lot when I was coming out of depression. And Sadhguru says you should never give the privilege of how you feel inside and what goes on with you inside to anything outside of you. I'm like, man, that's a good way to look at it. Because here's the problem, right? If I get excited when I make 10 grand in a day, I get really sad when I don't. And so when you attach so much value and power to a good thing outside of you, yeah. you give the equal amount of power and vulnerability to the bad thing. We've had, like I said, five and six figure months We've also had zero months in the middle of it. It's like someone would quit that month, right? They would go get a therapist. They're like, I messed up now. Yeah. Because the very problem is that you're measuring your character, your personhood with things. So I told this person, I said, you should be no different. At 30 grand, 50 grand, 100 grand a month versus now. But I disagree. I'm like, listen, I didn't say you won't have more skills. Yeah. I said the person you are shouldn't change. That skill level matters. That's different than the personality. Mm -hmm. You're afraid that your personality would change. Your, your character will change. Mm -hmm. I'll be a bad person. Suddenly, at 30 grand threshold, morality leaves the body. <laughs> what the hell does that even mean? Assholeism sets in. Yeah, like, that's not a fact. Yeah. The made-up assumption, and because you're believing it, you're now in, in, endowing your own body to do this. Mm -hmm. So, 
I don't think the same person in skill set will be this person you are will make that. No, you got to be a better at something. Yes, especially money. Money's just a skill. Like you got to once you learn how to make it, you never go poor again. Like it's just the dumbest thing ever to think. Like it's so hard, it's so easy. Once you learn the skill that makes money, it's just a matter of doing it. Yeah. But who you are as a person has nothing to do with your skills. Your skills are. It's like this. It's the difference between. You ready for this? It's the difference between I'm I'm Persian. Right? What's your background? Like, like the country? Ghana. Ghana, okay. You're Ghanaian. You don't know that? I don't want to say black. I'm just like, it's, I'm going to be more specific. You know I'm, I'm Iranian. Ghana? <laughs> You're Ghana. Yeah. No, I know you are, but like. Go just, ahead. I'm just being argumentative. I'm Persian. She's Ghanaian, right? Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah. It's a part of who we are. Absolutely. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Well, at least it's a part of, you know, like. Cultural implications. Yeah, background. Well, logistically, too, though. Like, this is our, our skin color difference, our background, our accent. Okay. Yeah. How much money we have. Doesn't make her more Ghanaian or me more Persian. Right? That's true. Does it make my... These are like... This is my arms, right? I have arms. Uh -huh. It's a part of my body. Yeah. If I have 10 times more money, does my arms grow? That's how ridiculous it sounds to me when you say like your personality is going to change. It amplifies. You make me more... No. Yeah. It's only because you believe that that you do that. Yeah. Let me ask you another question. I'll take you even deeper in the rabbit hole. If I believe anything and just do it now, does it make it a thing? I believe if you make $100,000 in a month, you have to start chanting at night and, and you float when you sleep. If I just make myself believe this, let me say something more realistic than something stupid. Yeah, come on. <laughs> if I had $100,000 a month and to keep doing that, I have to now pray to a specific God. I'm just making this up. Sure. Okay, well, I would tell you that you'd be like, that's, no, that's not true. But for me, if it's true, guess what? Now my entire, because I've primed my mind to do this. Yeah. So now I'll believe I'll lose the money. Absolutely. If I don't. Because I believe it. Very true. Yeah. It's just called superstition. And even if he's watching the person I'm talking about, I know he knows what I'm talking about. What I would would have said on the coaching calls, it's also superstition. You're giving some supernatural power to some exterior thing. It's all bullshit. So. Love that. Yeah. Love that. Okay. 